And while the armed conflict continues between Israel and Hamas, some New York state lawmakers are taking precautions in anticipation of potential violence in New York communities. And today our New York Capitol correspondent, Elise Klein, tells us about what these efforts look like. Some New York State leaders expressed concern about violence and hate crimes towards New York communities in the wake of the Israel-Hamas war. In a recent security briefing, Governor Kathy Hochul says while there are no current threats, state leaders intend to deter any potential harm towards New Yorkers. Public safety will always be my top priority. My commitment is to keeping New Yorkers safe. That is unwavering. Governor Hochul says the state's hate crime task force is on high alert and will help investigate incidents as necessary. And some New York State lawmakers say they are concerned about Jewish communities and certain places of worship. Uh, and it's not just synagogues, by the way. I think we, we're concerned about mosques as well, you know, given the situation. But I, I think that uh, our, uh, our governments on, the, on all levels have responded appropriately. State leaders are not only worried about Jewish communities, but Palestinian communities as well. New York State Attorney General Letitia James recently called on social media companies to take steps to stop the spread of content, encouraging violence against Jewish and Muslim people. The governor says she condemns hate directed both towards Jewish and Palestinian New Yorkers. And those who seek to use Hamas's just violence as justification for violence of their own, we have no tolerance for your hate. I condemn violence of every kind in New York. In Albany, Elise Klein, Erie News Now.